Welcome to the Church of Gambling. Prosperity will abound you if you give me money. Oh, you'll be blessed. Yes. You send me money. I learned all of that through watching televangelists. Yet folks complain whenever I get I ask for five or ten dollars, but they'll send televangelist money off the yin yang and they get private jets, you know. You know, so I think prosperity gospel is a sin because they're lying. How are you getting healed if you're sending them money? Think about that. It's a scam. Gambling is nothing but fun and entertainment. It's like WWE. Sure, you win some or lose some. But that's a part of the journey, you know. Maybe I should become a televangelist and I can actually own a jet. <laughs> You know, a private jet. Like Reverend Copeland. My gosh. The church picks on them poor people. It's our money, but we can't get it, and we got to go around asking for money. But we can't get it out of our account. Would they like it if I send it to Copeland? So he can fly around in his jet? The prosperity gospel is the biggest scam in Christianity to date. Yet they blast Christian metal as satanic. A lot of them televisions do. But they're the ones who are evil. It's pot calling the kettle black. So, yeah. So... So, yeah. So, that's my show. Nothing against the church. It's just a televangelist. I'm just using that as an example. Folks hate gambling, but they don't hate televangelists who's lying to them. Both are liars. But one's more fun. Gambling is more fun. It doesn't tell you rules and do's and don'ts. Gambling machine won't tell you you're burning hell because you listen to rock and roll or Christian rock and roll. Or, you know, won't lie to you about getting healed if you just donate, you know, 5 or $10 or $20. 